Good evening. Hello. Good evening, mister. How are you? How was your day? What? It was hot today. Hot today? Yeah. Oh. What about you? How was your day today, class? I guess fine. Ah. Uh, finishing some things of another course, but just that. What, what language are you studying now? No, no, no. I'm just getting a, a certified for Excel. Okay. But then I want to uh, have some course of, of uh, stat statistics and how to interpret the data. Oh, interesting. And are you, are you, the courses for basic Excel or? Yes, I, I found a basic Excel, but I want to take intermediate and the older one. Yeah, okay, I see, hold on. Let me see, let me see one thing here. Hold on, let me check one thing. Hi, good evening, everybody. Hello, hey, good, good evening. evening, mister. Hi. Hold on, I'm looking for something. Maybe I can find it here. Hold on, let me, now that you mentioned Excel. Man, Excel is so interesting, it's so necessary. Yes, it has many, many, many tools. Very challenging, actually. Look at this here. I I I, I saw a, a meme the other day, and it says, "Life is like Excel." You think you know about that, but you don't know. You don't. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> anyway. um, check out this chat. You see that, what I sent on the chat, Brian? Yes. That's very interesting. That's like, um, it's Excel. It's called for beginners, part one and part two. It's okay. cool. And, and he's very easy to explain. That's okay. one of the best, that's one of the best videos I've seen in Excel because I like how he explains. He doesn't complicate you or anything. And there's Excel for beginners, part one and part two. So if you ever have free time, check it out. Okay, I will. Thank you, mister. All right. So how is everyone? Everything cool? Yeah. I know. Cool. Where is our joy? Our joy of the class, she's not here. She's not going to to assist today. Oh no, did she write? Yes, she write. Oh, that's too bad. I imagine she's a busy woman. Yes. Well, actually, if I'm not mistaken, she sent a message saying that a friend, uh, uh, brother, Yes. her was in the hospital yeah oh my god mm -hmm. i hope it's nothing serious yeah hopefully it's not okay let me open here the let me open the platform Give me one second, class. Oh, 
Okay, uh, we have to do this part, and I think we, we might finish today. Okay. Hello, Eduardo. How are you, sir? Hi, mister. How are you? I'm fine. Hot. Mister, I, I have problems with, with the C, the letters we, we, with, the, with, the, with the quiz, but the, the C, the, the tag question and the user that we close. Hold on, let me see. Yeah, I have problems with that one. Kind of difficult. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's the letter C. Tag question. Okay, yeah, that's. Don't you? Okay. Now, do you see it? Yes, I think I do. I don't, I don't know if someone how someone how already made it. Yeah. Okay. Um. Has already done it. Done Do it. you see my screen, class? Yes. Yes, teacher. Okay. Cool. Okay. Now here we have tag questions and reduce relative clauses. Number one, it says it would be great if someone figure out how to eliminate spam, wouldn't it? It seems like kids spend too much money, uh, or I'm sorry, too much time playing computer games, doesn't it? Those, doesn't it? Excuse me. Those information. Do Do you know what is an infomercial? What yeah, you? like TV offer and. Infomercial is like watching Channel 10. Everything's about the government. Yeah, infomercial yeah. is like a long commercial where they try to sell to you something. Yeah, uh, like TV offer. I get it now. I understand how this is. That's an infomercial, yes. Like, yeah, yeah, I guess I think. Oh yeah, yeah, there was. Okay, um, those infomercials on TV are so annoying, aren't they? Yeah. N number four, liars aren't good for advertising, are they? Okay, number five, I got that one wrong. I hate getting spams. Don't you? Okay. Would be maybe it, it, I did put it, don't you, but I don't know why I got it wrong. It's to end on don't. Oh, you're right. Yeah. Don't. Don't you put your bounty. Okay, um, next it says a person who's willing to work with sick people could be a good nurse. There's a person. Willing to work. Willing to work. Mm. Willing to work with sick people could be a good nurse. So what is the answer? Willing. A person willing to work with sick people. Yeah, you only have to take off who is. And it's uh, the person Wait. willing to work with Sick people could be a good nurse. You're right. Person willing to work. Yeah. yeah, so it says a person willing to work with sick people could be a good nurse. Good. Number two, someone who is looking for paid vacations shouldn't be a small business owner. Answer, someone looking, someone for, looking for paid vacations shouldn't be a small business owner. Good. Anyone who has a good voice is invited to audition for the core. Or anyone with good voice is invited to audition for the core, correct? Okay. Five, someone who's interested in a history might love to work in a museum. So someone interested in art history might love to work in a museum. 
correct? Yeah. Correct. Let's see the next one. Yeah. Choose the words. Instructions. Choose the words that best completes each sentence. People who work for themselves must be disciplined or disciplined. 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 Yeah. With D. Yeah. Yes, with D. It takes blank to be a designer. Originally. No. Yes, originally. Good. I admire Tom. He is blank about what he does. Passionate. Yeah, passionate. A technology company must be blank to survive. Nobody. 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 Okay. Yeah, no. Number five, blank is a must if you want to be a manager. Decisiveness. Decisiveness. Teaching requires a lot of patience. 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 Next, it says part two. Choosing a career path involves blank uh, all the possibilities. Exploring. Yes, choosing a career path involves exploring, exploring. all the possibilities. But number two, Jen's job requires her to blank information and report on it. Analyze. To analyze, good. Everything was a mess until the managers finally blanked the problem. Sold. 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 Yeah, sold. In accounting, it can be expensive to blank even the smallest mistake. Make. To make. To make. Sometimes it's easier to blank solutions to problems on your own. Fine. Fine. A graphic artist generally <laughs> blank information visually. Makes. 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 Whoa, we're 20 and 20. Okay, and this would be the last part. There are two readings here. All right, let's see. Okay, it says, listen, I am so fed up with the MP3 players. What is fed up, class? Well, actually, you know what? Please fed circle the, 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 the things you don't understand, okay? Yeah. So it says, I am so fed up with MP3 players with their tiny headphones you can't see. I'm sick of trying to talk to someone and getting a blank stare. Wouldn't it be great if those things were banned at work and school? And I hate those wireless headsets. Headset for cell phones, don't you? I mean, when you're walking on the street and a stranger speaks as he passes, as he passes you, don't you say what? only to realize he was talking on the phone. Then he looks at you like you're crazy. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> I can't stand watching people text messaging. Don't they know that it would take three seconds to say what they're typing? 
to say what they're typing. It's crazy, isn't it? I agree with this person at some in some level. <laughs> because I really hate and I'll be honest, and someday I will have to speak about this with my wife, but I hate watching movies, you know, family movie night, and she's on the phone all, all the time. <laughs> uh, that's so common. <laughs> yeah, I hate yeah. that. Mm -hmm. You're talking to people and they are... Yeah. Yeah, I, I don't like that, to be honest. I, I think it's... Mm -hmm. you, you completely, you say you're right, but the, the necessity make you do that for example because sometimes people are working in, in, oh, in, oh no no that's understandable that's understandable yeah because now everything is changing yes but now you see people no but yes i understand a lot of people i i have like like six or seven group chats from my work so yes, all day in my work, I am on my cell phone. Yeah. And I really don't like that. But I don't like when um, when we do it in our personal time. Yeah, yeah. That's the point. Like, like when you go to the movies and you see the people next to you open Facebook on the phone. <laughs> they say, really, man? It's important to watch Facebook in this moment? <laughs> You know, I do that with my son. I only give him 30 minutes of tablet a day. I, mm. And that's it. All right, so do you have any questions in the reading? Yeah, yeah I, what, what is that, that, that word, but I don't see it there. Fed up. Yeah, fed up, what was that? Okay, fed comes from the verb feed. Feed, feed me. So the past of feed is fed. But when you say I am fed up, is you're saying estoy harto. Ah, uh, okay. Mm. Okay. I am fed up. I am fed up, really, really, this is true. I am fed up of politics in this moment in El Salvador. Ah, uh, fed up, okay. Yes, I am fed up of, what am I fed up of? Fed up, okay. I am fed up of the commercials in YouTube. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> I agree. Now you're watching a song, and in the middle of the song, the commercials. Yes. Many commercials sometimes. Yes. All right, so let's see. Brett hates talking to people using MP3 players. True or false? True. 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 Brett thinks that people who use wireless headsets look like they are talking to themselves. True or false? True. True. Brett loves wireless headsets. False. Brett enjoys text messaging his friends. False. I would say it's false because he's he didn't say he likes to text message his friend, but yes. he did said he did say that um it's easier to call. Right? Okay, let me see here. Crafts, um, you see my screen, right? Yes. Okay, crafts aren't just for grandmothers anymore. Whereas kneading and sewing used to be the work of family women, young people everywhere are taking up craft as a way to express themselves creativity and to take a stand against 
a mass consumerism. Nowadays, you'll see fashionably dressed young men and women gathering at cafes to sip coffee and knit together. In other words, crafts have become cool. Questions? No. All right. My, my grandmother used to knit sweaters and they were so ugly. <laughs> you know, that was, they were so like, the, it's like she chose the ugliest color, like yellow, blue, and pink. <laughs> you know, she, she would knit, knit a sweater, said, here, baby, this is for you. Oh, thank you, grandmother. <laughs> Yeah, and ugly. Yeah, <laughs> but, you know now. Now I respect that. Hey, that was cool. She used to knit. Yes, <laughs> and that nice, not too much. Yeah. Next, it says the popular website crafts.org is a great resource for those who love to make things. And people, and people from all over the world post photos of their crafts, often with step-by-step -step instructions for others. There are also thousands of blogs that feature photographs of handmade items, blogs by the people who make them, and tips and resources for crafters. These, these craft blogs were started by mostly young women, but also some men who wanted to share creative ideas with a wider audience. They cover every conceivable type of craft, from hand sewn clothing to paper making and book hiding. I'm sorry, I don't know why because I, um, in my screen, it looks very ugly. And I need glasses. Okay. Mm -hmm. To Amigurimi, Japanese net dolls, <laughs> um, a lamp, to lamp making, Many of the blogs have a large readership, and on any given day, some blogs attract hundreds of comments from readers. Our grandmothers and great-grandmothers never would have dreamed that their old-fashioned skills would be showcased by fashionable young people on the internet. Wow, now, now it's even normal that men paint their nails. <laughs> yeah, I saw that, but they paint and they do artistic drawings on their nails. <laughs> Don't do it, mister. I won't, I won't. I mean, I am, when I see that, Mikhail, like, whoa. But then, you know, I have to understand, yeah, I am, I am old school. <laughs> Remember before when you would go to a mall, it was only beauty salons, beauty salons, beauty salons. Now it's barbershops, barbershops. Yes. Because men are more delicate now in cutting their hair and putting the black mask. In old days, no. Yeah. <clears throat> and I, we used to go to literalmente un barbero. He would charge $1.50. And that's it. And that's it. Y la, la loción que le ponía uno. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, that's how traditions change. Yes.
So making crafts has become a popular among people working fashion. fashionable young people. Fashionable. Fashionable young, young people. people. Good. People. On craft.org, people can learn, learn how, how to make crafts. Number three, blank are becoming popular for sharing creative, I'm sorry, that would be creative, ideas yeah, creative. with others. Craft blog. Craft loves, yeah. Like yes. making crafts, only women, only men, or both men and women? Both. 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 Hey, we're cool. We're finished. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So this is what we're going to do right now since we finished. Let me see the chat. We're going to practice active listening. Okay. So. Tell me one good thing about yourself. So. Kelly is going to start and she's going to say one good thing about myself is. Okay. But please class be creative. Please don't say one good thing about myself is I take a shower. <laughs> or I brush my teeth. Really? That's, that's one good thing you want to say about you when it's supposedly in a say, oh, that's something normal. Okay. But but the objective of this is that when Kelly says one good thing about herself, everybody has to ask her a question regarding that. Okay. Mm -hmm. like, let me give you an example. If I say one good thing about myself is I like to read. Okay. What questions would you ask me? Mm -hmm. Would you ask me what is your favorite food? No. What's no. your favorite book? Oh, good. Um, what kind of books do you like? Yeah. Yeah, good. So my favorite book would be Don Quixote. Okay. Mm -hmm. And I like to read about, I like to read um, biographies or autobiographies. And I like okay. to read about controversial topics. I really like controversial topics. Controversial? Okay. Topics. 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 Temas. Ah, topics. Okay. You know, like sometimes we can be watching the news and says uh, Gaza and Israel have the the war forever, and you say, "Oh my God, I don't know what is Gaza." Mm -hmm. You know, so then you go and you start reading about the history. I like doing that. That is why my favorite character in history is Hitler. Uh, mm. pero, conste, conste. I hate with passion what he did. Okay. But yes, I, I <laughs> but I I like what he I don't know. There, there's no Hitler in the world. Yes, that's true. In history, I mean, this man had the power of convincement. It's, it's, it's incredible. Lastima que para mal. Yes. Can you imagine somebody with the power of mentality and... Of him? It will yes. be awesome. In, uh -huh. imagine, imagine somebody with the power and mentality of Hitler. Oh, I... Uh, Guillermo, so I was telling them that I like Hitler. Do a lot of things good yes. in the life. Yes, but I don't like what he did. I just like the power he had. Yeah. yeah. So imagine if we had a, a Hitler, but in good. Oh, man. 
lo matan, that he will be killed immediately. All right, so that's that's how you say, you know, oh, good. So it's like okay. when you're drinking coffee and you go on a date with a girl or a boy, and you know, so tell me about yourself. Or a typical interview, right? So tell me about yourself. Oh, no. I didn't oh. Talk, I like, I do, I go, I read. <laughs> so, you know, that's, eso se llama icebreaker, romper el hielo. Oh. So, you know, okay. imagine I'm drinking, I'm drink, uh, I, my first date with a girl I like. I said, can you tell me something good about yourself? She says, oh, I like to read. Boom, ahí la taco. Oh, really? So what's your favorite book? Yeah, what do you like to read? Hey, have you ever read the history about Hugo Chavez? Okay. That's interesting. His biography is interesting. You know, and that's how you start the conversation. All right, so Kelly, tell right. the class something, one good thing about you. Okay, uh, one thing about myself. One, one good thing. Ah, uh, okay, one good thing about myself is I am a quiet person. I really like to listen all to others and analyze and try to figure out what, what they are or what personality they have. And the other hand, let me see. Okay, um, no, but that's, that's good right there, you know. Okay. Because remember, one. <laughs> Ah, okay. Only one good thing. <laughs> okay. Uh, so I have a question. Um, do you work in human resources? No, no, exactly. But maybe I wouldn't. I would have to to work in this area. But now I just do an administrative work. Okay. Questions. Mm hmm. Do you enjoy uh, working with people then? Sure, I enjoy it, but... No, but uh, don't, don't get off the topic because remember her habit is that she's a very quiet person and she likes to analyze people. Yeah. <laughs> yes, but I don't know. Uh, it seems like she she can really work with people because she okay. understands. Oh, okay. Sorry, I mm -hmm. see your point. I see your point. Yeah, you're right. Yes. Um, mm. Do you have a boyfriend or are you married, Kelly? Yes, I am married. Okay. Do you argue frequently with your husband? Mm. Can you repeat the question, please? Uh, do you argue with your husband? Ah, uh, no, yet, no, no, really not because he is an opposite. He likes to to talk. Uh, talk about every every topic so I listen to him and analyze what he is talking <laughs> or yes, is yes. And, and you know the, the reason why I ask you that is because I imagine that you are going to say no we don't fight because if you say that you just you're a very quiet person and you just like to analyze then I imagine you're very passive that's mm. good we could be yeah all right any, any other questions do you think that is there a bad part or something negative about being a quiet person or sometimes it could be because people believe that I am very cold or how do you say free without feelings <laughs> cold hearted yeah but I don't care about it <laughs> do you cry? Do you cry if you watch a sad movie? Uh, watch a movie about? Do you cry if you watch a sad movie? Mm, sometimes I feel like, like, very... For example, Ghost. No. no. Nah, I ghost. think that it's not a... It's, it's real. You did not cry in Ghost. I cried in Ghost. <laughs> Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I cried. I cried in the Ice Age when I had yellow. So I am very sensitive. In, yeah. I cried in Monster Inc. Really? 
But Monster Inc. is funny. <laughs> yeah, no, but remember when Boo, when he thought, when Boo has to go back? Oh, okay. Yes. He <laughs> Sullivan Wardan. I cried. Mm. All right. Good. Thank you. You're welcome. Let's see, Brian, tell the class something good about yourself. Mm, uh, well, one good thing about me is uh, I really like to uh, investigate when there's the necessity to do it. For example, when I was in the university, I couldn't even sleep when I can resolve any, some problems. So I take a lot of time to solve uh, when I have problems. <laughs> I don't think I understood you very well. I don't know. I really don't know how to say it, but uh, you like to. In, you like you like in to Spanish. It could start. Yes, something like that. Yeah, I like to finish what I start. Yes. Are you? Do you? Is your room clean? <laughs> yes. Like very neat, like perfect, like. Maybe not a hundred percent, but what is referred to a study i always uh, uh, start everything and try to finish oh are you a perfectionist yes yes i have to recognize that yes no i i think that's good sometimes sometimes <laughs> but sometimes it doesn't let you sleep <laughs> it's true all right class questions mm. What what kind of topic topics do you like to investigate? I really like uh, chemistry and physics, so mm -hmm. I always like to be I don't know reading something about it, or I just think I forgot some things that I learned on the university, so I go back and start reading again. Good, all right, nice. Uh, let's see. Yanira, can you tell the class something good about yourself? Hmm? Yanira, are you there? I think we have problems with Yanira's mic. Yeah. La Laura. Yes. Hi, Laura, can you tell the class Hi. something about yourself? Some, uh, what's one good thing about yourself? Um, I think that one thing good about myself is that I enjoy listening to podcasts about productivity and mental health. Oh, interesting. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so you like to listen like to positive people? Yeah, I enjoy doing that. <laughs> Religion? No. Mm, not exactly. Okay. Are yeah. you religious? Mm, not much. Okay. You are atheist? No, I mean, I do believe in God, but I'm not like a person to okay. that goes to church and that stuff. Okay. No, I, I understand. Um, I, I am an atheist. And when I say that, sometimes it's shocking on people like, oh, why but you know so I'm, I'm sorry that and the reason why i ask you that is because usually people that listen to power mentality and you know they go beyond the religion and, and they start expanding more their mind oh. do you do yoga um no and what actually i used to be like more religious and when I started like listening podcasts and reading, so I, as you said, ex ex it started to expand my mind. And yes, that's where I started to doubt about so many things. Yeah, me too. I remember um, I, lo I love to read. I always have loved to read. Uh, when I read about Hitler and the Holocaust, that's when I stopped believing because that's when I started asking more answers and I never got, I'm sorry, more questions. And I never got a real direct answer. 
So, you know, I was like, you know, mm. you know, everything, everything I was taught this proved that it's not true. Well, you know, some things like that. But but I did get married in church. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because me, me la hizo mi esposa, man. <laughs> Yeah, because she, she called my mom. Mm -hmm. And you know, my mom, what? And see you in the church getting married. Oh, God. <laughs> so I had to do it. And it was, it was interesting because in one day, I did everything. I did, I did confirmation, baptism, affirmation. I did a lot of shun. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Yeah, I don't remember what I did because I did many things. So I am, you know. Good. Now let's switch the tape, class. Now we're going to say, tell me one bad thing about yourself. And we're going to start with Gladys. Yeah. Uh, let me see. And, and remember, remember, please, something, something like essential. Excuse me, something essential. Please don't say one bad thing about myself is I never wake up. Well, one bad thing about myself is I don't like pizza. Hmm. Bad. You know, one bad thing about myself, maybe it's like I drink too much mm -hmm. soda in the day. Or, you know, something that's okay. essential. Tell me one bad thing about yourself. Um, well, I'm not sure about um, maybe one bad thing about myself is that I like to talk with a lot of people and to hang out with them, but I'm not uh, like very close to one person. Okay. <laughs> okay. So you like to have friends and, and you yeah. don't like, okay, you don't like commitment maybe. Oh. Like I don't know, some uh, some people uh, have like a, a lot of friends, and like they very like they spend like everything together. You know, they mm -hmm. share a lot of moments. So uh, I I have never been like that. Well, I say I I get you. Questions, class. Mm -hmm. I have a question. Mm -hmm. Do you have a best friend? No, never because yeah, because my friends always used to like change. Like uh, after school, we we didn't uh, see each other. After high school, was the same, and they live uh, far from me and uh, things like that. Okay. Because you know how normally girls, <laughs> they would say, "I can't my best friend from my work." My, she's my best friend she's my best how many best friends do you have <laughs> you know exactly. and they start like no i have a best friend from my best friend from the university and my best friend from work you're in another my best friend from facebook <laughs> yeah okay that's good that's okay all right yermo tell the class something bad about yourself that or you, you think is bad well uh, i think the one bad thing about me about myself it will be uh, mm, lack of patience your lack of patience you're not a very patient yeah, person. no i'm not a very patient person and sometimes it get you in, get me in troubles actually but i don't know why i really hate waiting for people <laughs> without anybody's reason of course you know because sometimes uh, you can have an inconvenience and you get late to some places but uh, what about the people that uh, they don't have a valid reason to be late so they are late because they want to be late i mean it's really annoying for me do you fight in the street with other drivers <laughs> no actually no actually no because uh, i know that for example when there is a uh, the traffic gets heavy. I know that that is the reason why they are driving slowly. So there is nothing we can do actually. So I need to okay. wait. 
No, but sometimes it's not nothing you can do. Something they do to you. Hmm. You know, like sometimes oh, though, you're normal and somebody cuts you and... Oh, yeah, yeah, I understand. I understand. But no, actually not. I'm not that kind of person. Okay, that's good. More like when you are not... It's more like when a person is late to a meeting or when we need to get together and people is late or something like that. And what do you tell them when they arrive late? Like, do you fight or...? <laughs> no, I do not fight, but I don't know... I think that I'm the kind of person that you can see my face and you notice mm. that <laughs> I'm not happy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. But no, I don't fight because of I that. I think that the worst is that they like may made, uh, made up these lies, these big lies, you know. Yeah, yeah, right. Why traffic. Is it so difficult. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, the traffic. <laughs> yeah. La más quemada, como diríamos. <laughs> yeah. In which city there isn't traffic, right? Yeah, right, right. Yeah, I, I think that's one bad thing about me. I like to fight. No, no, I don't like to fight. I don't like Maybe to you fight. like to argue. No, I, I don't like to argue and I don't like to fight, but I do fight and I do argue. Mm. Because, um, no, but I stopped because. I am, I am. No, but I stopped because one time I. La vi, la vi, like, oh man. I'm going to die today. Oh, really? No, but, yeah, but the thing is, I consider myself when I drive, I am extremely respectful. Mm. I put my BS. I, you know, even when, when I let people pass, I don't do this. Like, I don't drive and I don't do this. I, I do this. Go ahead. Go ahead. But I really don't like when somebody is disrespectful. Oh, God. Okay. Yeah. Like one time I remember my wife was pregnant and we live by El Paso in Hawar. And okay. they were making, they were still making the, the, the circle. So I understand people were frustrated, but I was in my in my lane and this guy, he was coming the wrong way. But he knew he was coming the wrong way. And I was calmed. But I stopped because I was like, okay, dude, what do you want me to do? Yeah, well, I can't go back, you know. And he got angry. He started honking at me and saying many bad words. And I remember I was like, really? I have like, because we weren't going in the correct way. Okay. He was coming the wrong way. So he was the one that, but you know, and then he continued, you know, move, you stupid piece of blah, blah, blah. And I said, I, you know, I, 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 by that time, I didn't get angry because I was still in shock. Mm. Like, really, are you so stupid that you think? <laughs> and then my wife, she rolled down the window and she said, you know, very, sir, you are in the wrong way. You have to go back, you know. <laughs> and then he said, you shut up before I break your face. And I was like, okay, okay, then, you know, that was enough. Yes. So, so eventually he went back and I continued. But when, when he said that, I... That's it. So I started following him and eventually he had to do a U-turn. He looked at her and I got off the car. And it was very stupid what I did. I, I understand because yeah. I got off the car and I said, what? Get off, get off. And when I saw him, he was a young boy. He looked like Clark Kent. He even had glasses. <laughs> Maybe he has a mental problem. But you should have seen his face. His face, he, he didn't get off the car. And oh. because he didn't get off the car, that gave me more, because of the situation, that gave me more power, you know, angry. Boost. <laughs> yes, it boosted. 
get off the car. And I remember I started hitting the hood. What did you tell my wife? And my wife was pregnant, right? Yeah. Get off the car. And he wouldn't get off the car. So I jumped, <laughs> I went, I jumped in the car and I started punching him. Mm -hmm. And then when it finished and I turned around, my wife was walking. She didn't want, oh, okay. she didn't want to be part of me in that moment. <laughs> and, and, you know, and now I understand, but in, in that situation, that's what I don't like about myself, but I changed. Because puts you to the limit. No, because no, but you know what? People like that will never change until yeah. until something happens to you. Mm. Yeah. Because something like that happened to me once. Do you know do you know that? Yes. Next to that, there's a Starbucks, right? And next to that, yeah. there is a Pizza Hut. Pizza Hut, yeah. yeah. So that day, it was raining like crazy. It was like seven at night. And my wife calls me and she says, you know what? Pick up a pizza. Okay. So it was raining so, so hard that the windshield wipers. It was raining cat and those. Yes. The windshield wipers was not enough. I mean, like, yeah. So there was a car in front of me. But yes, the car did have the emergency lights. Oh. But maybe because it was raining, he was blocking me to go into a pizza hut. Yeah. And I started honking, like, primero, like, beep. And, you know, like, beep, beep, you know. And he took out his hand, like, what? And I was like, I want to go in. But it was impossible for him to see. So, but he did turn on the car and he moved a little bit more. And then he, by hand moving, he totally blocked me. He was like literally in the driveway. And, and I said, come on, hey, hey. And I started honking and he said, what? And I said, you know, I wasn't going to get off because it was what, dude, you're blocking me. I want to go to Pizza Hut. And then suddenly I see like these two Mareros get off. What? Yeah. And I said, okay, because I had a call center, one link. <laughs> <laughs> so they were actually okay. waiting for some girls that worked there. Okay. And when, when, when he got off, so what's your problem? And so. So the stupid idiot thought that I was honking at him and I was doing some science. Science. Yeah. But imagine the mentality of this stupid people. Yeah. Hey, so people drive away. Hey. <laughs> okay. And, and I said, look, man. But by this time I was very scared. Because he was telling me, get off. But he was really, really pissed. I don't think they killed me because the security guard of um, Pizza Hut was there. <laughs> so, uh, get off the call. What Mata are you? And I said, dude, do I look like I'm in Mata's? Look at me. And then he, and I said, I was telling you I want to walk in. I, I want to go in. And he says, this is the message. Oh, look where you're parked. And he looked. And in his face, I saw the reaction like, hey, a huevo. Mm -hmm. But you know, I never a perder, never a perder. So, Get out of here. I don't want to see you again. You're my free. So, but anyway, so I was thinking like, hey, oh my God, man. Oh, and there were like two more people inside. There were a lot of Mareros in that car. Oh, yeah. They were just waiting for some, their girlfriends or something. But in, in any other place, I think they would have killed me. Yeah. So after that, believe me, that was like three years ago. I I don't fight now. I am Dalai Lama. Dalai <laughs> Lama. <laughs> yeah. When I drive, I'm like, I don't care. You know? Yeah, because yeah. you don't know what is people are going to, to do. No, because I realized many things that day. For a stupid reason, I could have died. But what about my son? 
Yeah. He wouldn't have a father and, you know, many, many, many things. So I, I needed something like that to realize, like, boom. Mm -hmm. Like that man that I punched, he needed that. Pero he, he hasn't continued being that way. Uh, like, <laughs> todo chivito, then, you know, maybe he, he will always remember me. Like, I will always remember that situation. And now I am thankful for that situation because when I'm going to get angry, I remember, like, no, no, forget it. Dale, yes. <laughs> yeah. yeah. But, Guillermo, you, you, you don't go to that level, correct? Actually, no. No. I mean, back in the days, maybe. Uh, I get kind of angry, but I think these days I don't do that. You know, something that it uh, helped me to change it was uh, my wife, actually. Yes. Uh, because when I'm when I'm driving, uh, and actually we 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 go everywhere together. So yeah, she's good. that kind of person this that is always happy and say, no, it's okay, come on, don't worry about that. And she helped me a lot, actually. She is your rock. Yeah. <laughs> right. Good. Good. All right. Uh, what about you, Yanira? What is something bad about you? Yanira. Yeah, Yanira. Is your is your microphone working, Yanira? It's on mute. You are on mute. I don't think she can hear me. Does she listen to us? Hi, Janita. Hi, teacher. Oh, okay, there you go. Janita, can you tell yes. us something something bad about you? But remember, bad, it doesn't necessarily have to be. Only one. Only one. All right, <laughs> only one. Yes, only one. Well, uh, one thing bad about me is I am a big, very angry person person and I am not patient. Oh, okay. I I like the I like to do the things very quickly and when some people do something very slow I I am not I have no patience. Oh, okay. And it is the problem in my work or in all the government area because many people do the things very slow. Mm -hmm. And I think- Oh yeah. Many uh, people? All the people. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody. And, and when, I saw, uh, when I see that, I am very angry because uh, the thing can be do very fast uh, many times. Um, and I don't like that kind of things. Yeah. Do, are you married? No. No, I'm not married. Oh, you're single too, I remember, right? Yes, yes. You, you are a but a, I like to do that, that some some person says that I am a fate because a I like to do the things very quickly. Oh, okay. Have you ever had problems in your personal life because of that? Yes, yes. For example, most of times in my work because because I have some some co-workers that do the things very slow. Okay. And I imagine they hate you because oh yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. I got For example you. in my last job um, when I came to the to the work um, the the previous people before me do the things very slow. And when I uh, I came, I do my work and I do the work of four co-workers too mm. at the same time. <laughs> wow. And my and my boss says, no, only say say Johnny, say to that Johnny, say Johnny. And <laughs> my 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 co-workers stop, stop. are very jealous to for me. Oh, uh, yes. 
Okay, I, I see that. Yeah. Yeah, I know what you're talking about. Okay. But you know, sometimes that's not all bad. Sometimes that's good. Yeah. Because usually people who are like you, you are demanding, but that's because you give everything too. Yes. And that's good because there are some people that they are only demanding and they just, hey, do that, do that, do that. And they're very lazy. Yes. So, oh, okay. Wow. For example, in my, in my actual job, uh, when I came to the job, uh, the, the financial area is in three areas, a budget, accountant, and treasury. And, yes. and the, order, the, order, the order area is, is personal. And when I came, I do the work of budget, treasury, and human resource, the three areas at the same time. Wow. Yeah, I imagine your coworkers must hate you. <laughs> yes. No, but you know, it's a good envy. It's a good envy. I understand. Yeah. I imagine they must gossip. Like, sorry, I guess I could hate it. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. All right, class. Listen, tomorrow we're, we're going to have like a little bit more of conversation. But the reason why I was telling you about active listening is because tomorrow I'm going to ask you the same question, but in third person. For mm. example, I can say, Guillermo, do you remember what's one good thing about Kelly? Mm. Yeah, she said that one good thing about her was that she she's quiet. She's, she's quiet and she likes to analyze. Oh, good. Do you remember how, you know, the active listening and we're going I to finish have. yeah and we're going to finish like like today we said one good thing about myself one good bad thing about myself and now we're going to do like what is one thing that you hate people do i should have okay. taken notes taking notes <laughs> i should have taken yeah, that is an, yeah that is another bad thing about me i forgot everything <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah you don't practice active listening mm -hmm. <laughs> Yeah, I do, but uh, I forget everything. Right, man. Okay. Well. Yeah. So tomorrow we'll continue with what is one thing that you don't like on people? Okay. Mm. But, you know, it's, okay. it's like I don't like when people eat with their mouth open. Mm. Or, or, or when they make sound. The noise. The noise. <laughs> yeah. Or, yeah. Or I don't like when people touch me. You know, I don't like, hey, mm. dude, don't touch me. I don't, you know, things like that. That's what we're going okay. to talk about tomorrow. Okay. Okay, Miss. So thank you very much. Have a great night. Okay. I'll see you tomorrow. Yes, sir. Have a great night. See you tomorrow. Night. Everybody. Bye.